A U.S. Secret Service agent was robbed at gunpoint over the weekend as President Joe Biden was visiting Los Angeles for a fundraising event. Imagine this. President Joe Biden, the man who's constantly pushing for more restrictions on your two-way rights, is surrounded by a phalanx of armed Secret Service agents wherever he goes. These agents are equipped with the best training and firearms money can buy. They exist solely to protect him. Yet when one of these agents finds himself outside of the protective bubble of the president, he's treated just like any other citizen by the criminals roaming our streets in a state that has the most restrictive gun laws in the country. When that attempted robbery happened, the Secret Service agent, who was off duty at the time, pulled out his service weapon and fired shots at the would-be robber. Now, this is a photo that you're seeing from Tustin PD. That's a suspect car. Now, this all happened Saturday when President Biden was in town. The U.S. Secret Service confirming the incident to CBS News. Tustin police says around 9.30 p.m. in the Tustin Fields residential community area, uh, they discovered that this victim was a, uh, of a member of the Secret Service and that his bag was stolen at gunpoint. Granted, I highly doubt this agent had to subscribe to any of those laws. Those laws are for peasants. So I'm sure he had a standard capacity magazine and all the while the rest of the peasants in California are forced to carry 10 rounds or less. The crazy thing is Joe Biden wants to make it harder for you and me to defend ourselves. He wants more gun control, more hoops to jump through and more restrictions on our right to bear arms. But while he enjoys round the clock protection from highly trained professionals, what do we have? We have ourselves, we have our families, and the Second Amendment. That's why the Second Amendment isn't just about hunting or sport shooting. It's about ensuring we have the means to protect ourselves in a world where danger can strike anywhere. If an armed Secret Service agent can be robbed at gunpoint, what chances does the average citizen have if they are disarmed and left vulnerable by the very politicians who claim to want to protect us? This incident should be a wake up call. It's a stark reminder that criminals don't care about gun control laws. They clearly don't care about the people they rob. They will find ways to arm themselves and prey on the defenseless, or in this case, the perceived defenseless. Clearly this agent wasn't defenseless, but once again, once you leave the bubble of elitist protection and step into the real world, you become just like the rest of us, potential food. And now you get to experience what each and every one of us has to deal with on a daily basis. Make sure you put that in your report to Joe Biden, that his safety is guaranteed by armed agents. Ours and yours is guaranteed by the Second Amendment. It's time for Biden to stand up for our rights and ensure that we too have the means to defend ourselves against those who wish to do us harm. Oh, and another thing, make sure you uh, protect your hearing as well with uh, my favorite wireless Bluetooth in-ear hearing protection, AKT-1 Blackouts. I love these things because they basically are like AirPods for shooters. I can listen to music while I'm shooting. I can take a phone call while I'm shooting. All the while, it's protecting my hearing from loud gunshots. They have a NRR rating of 25 dB, and they also have a six time hearing enhancement and noise blocking as well. So I can hear my environment while I'm shooting and still protect my hearing, as well as all the other things I described. So you can use them at the gun range, you can use them at school, you can use them at the gym, you can use them at the job, whatever the case may be. The AKT1 blackout to have you covered. Oh, and also the Let's Go Brandon t-shirts are also at shop.mrcoleonnoir.com as well. So click the link in the description section of this video. One thing's for certain and two things are for sure. Politicians and tech giants don't want gun content to be recommended to you. And we're all fighting this culture war together. Now you can help do your part by liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel, but most importantly, sharing this video with at least one person. Together we can stop the suppression of our two-way rights. And don't forget to click the link in the description section of this video for the products that I mentioned in this video.